Well, it was August of last year, Detroit Fire Sergeant Savad Johnson rushed into the Detroit River to help rescue three children struggling to stay afloat. With the help of another man, Savad helped get those kids to safety, but lost his life in the process. Larry Spruill shows us how the Coast Guard and the Fire Department paid tribute today to a real hero. It was a very emotional and bittersweet ceremony for the family of Savad Johnson. He died in the line of duty, and today they're honoring him in a very big way. Very honored, very honored. Uh, this is really special. Special yet an emotional occasion for Will Johnson as he watched Detroit Fire and Coast Guard honor his son, Savad Johnson. Savad, in his life, wanted to be a positive influence on people. Uh, he was an inspirational speaker, and I'm just honored to be his dad. That honor was displayed Wednesday at a ceremony celebrating firefighter Savad Johnson. He died while off duty last summer. Both Johnson and another hero, Matthew Fromm, saved three kids who were drowning in the Detroit River off Belle Isle. When you think about that, and the question becomes, how does someone get that level of bravery and courage and the awareness to save those children. Both the Coast Guard and Detroit Fire recognize both Johnson and Fromm for their heroic efforts. And we count ourselves lucky to have served with such a courageous and heroic soul, our dear friend, Savad. We're forever thankful for Savad's selflessness and his bravery is truly an inspiration to all of us. They even named a rescue boat to all of us. They even named a rescue boat after Savad, which is a huge recognition within the Detroit Fire Department. Once again, just a testament as to who he was. Um, he, he always was saying he wanted to inspire people, not motivate them, so he would do it himself. He's done amazing things all his life. And Johnson also received the Silver Life Saving Medal. That award is presented by the U.S. Coast Guard to anyone who attempts or saves anyone from a drowning or a shipwreck in the water of the United States. We're live tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4.